Uh, John? Right, Joel, uh, how about we finish off with a sort of a composite floor shape, uh, like an L shape there. Okay, so sometimes your room isn't perfectly rectangular. It's not perfect rectangle. rectangular, no, certainly not. No. Okay. So, um, remember we still need to determine the number of strips we're going to need because we need to figure out the total length of carpet we're going to buy. Okay, and carpet always comes in strips that are exactly... 3.66 metres. 3.66 metres wide. Yes. Okay. So? Well, we'll roll lengthwise again. So one strip here. Yes. And so obviously that's going to be 3.66 metres from there to there. That's correct. 3.66 metres from there to there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we roll again. Yep. So well, maybe my drawing isn't as good as it should be. Let's put that a bit further down there. Down. Okay. Okay. So there's one strip of, of one carpet. One strip. Let's go another one. Rolling lengthwise again. Yep. Now, boys, you'll see that um, we're still going to need the full 10 meter strip of carpet to go the full length. There will be some cutoff. Yeah, you'll have to cut a little bit off the edge here when you when you actually make your carpet, but you still have to go the full length here. Oh yes, it's uh, still going to be another ten metre strip, but you will have some leftovers, which again you can use as a doormat or something like that. Okay, so you can see here, there's this little bit extra here, but we're not going to use that. That's going to be cut off. That's and... that'll be cut. Yeah. Okay, so strip one, strip two, little bit of stuff cut off. So we've got two 10 metre strips. Now, of course, we'll need a third strip, but it certainly won't go the 10 metres. It'll only go the 4 metres. It'll only go 4 metres. And again, we'll get a little bit of extra bit, extra bit for, the, for your doormat or whatever you're going to do. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, so the total carpet required? <coughs> total length, again, will be 2 times 10. Equals 2 times 10. Two 10 metre strips. Yep. Plus a 4 metre strip. Plus a 4 metre strip. Which is 25, 24 metres. 24 metres. Now, from here, they could talk about cost if they wanted to. You guys know already know how to do cost, so we don't have to do that here. Yeah. The sky's the limit with how bad these shapes could get. Oh, yes, yes. And remember, boys, you, you could also be faced uh, with this unusual situation of rolling the carpet this way. So you're going to get smaller length strips, but more strips. Okay, so yeah. advice? Uh, advice, well, draw an accurate diagram uh, and remember, you've got a picture in your mind, um, where, well, how long the strip's going to be, are we going to be any cutoffs, and that will depend on the shape of the roof. I don't think we'd be nasty and give you too complicated with the shape. No, yeah. All right, so that's uh, that's that's the end of carpet. Remember, guys, this is real life. This is as close as you get to real life when it comes to the math that we're doing. So just picture it in your head, draw an accurate diagram, go from there. The calculation is really simple, but you've, Very got to, simple. you've got to be able to picture exactly um, what you're doing to be able to write the calculation to get the right results. All right, guys, that's carpet. Thank you very much. Yeah.